Good morning Year 2 and welcome to another English lesson. I do apologise about the washing machine noise, I always do this. I get up first thing in the morning, put the washing machine on, forgetting that I need to film some videos for you. So please excuse that noise, hopefully it will stop soon. So, on Monday and Tuesday, so yesterday, you were writing your own postcard. So on Monday you drafted your postcard and yesterday you were editing your postcard to make sure that it was perfect and today we've got a really exciting lesson and I know it's one of your favourite lessons when we were at school because today you are going to be creating your very own postcard so you're going to be designing it, copying your drafted postcard up in best and you're going to create a really beautiful front cover on it that's really eye catching and if you send them in to me I can share them on Class Dojo, uh, on Class Dojo Story, sorry, and your friends in 2SJ will be able to read your postcards and see what you've been getting up to. So it's kind of like having a pen pal where you write to them and you find out what other people are doing. So the more eye catching they are, the more time you spend on them, they're going to look really beautiful on um, Class Dojo Story. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you today what I want that postcard to look like. It's just going to be a really quick video because I want it to be all your own ideas and I want all of the postcards to be really unique and different, unique to you and unique to your story of what you've been getting up to at home. So carry on watching and I'm going to show you all of the things that I want you to include um, on your postcard. Right, I'm going to start with the back of your postcard which is where you'll do your writing, design your stamp, and write the address. Now normally there'd be a line that goes down the middle of the back of the postcard but I think because we're going to be doing a little bit more writing than you would usually write on a postcard I'm going to do it about three quarters across. So remember quarters you would split something into four equally and you would go across three of them. So I'm going to use a ruler and I'm going to draw a line down where I think about three quarters would be. Just roughly, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to draw a line down my page. Hopefully that line has shown up on camera for you. So pause this video. You might want an adult at home to help you with this because it will be a little bit tricky and you do need to get lots of lines straight. So draw one line. I've got my paper landscape, not portrait. So one line down your paper. So pause the video and have a go at doing that for me. Okay, well done. So when you've done that, what I would like you to do is draw with your ruler a box at the top. And this is going to be where you put your stamp design in. So let me just draw it and I will show you what it needs to look like. So at the top of your postcard here, this box here is where your stamp is going to go, so your stamp design. So pause the video and have a go at drawing the box for your stamp. Well done to those of you that have done that. So once you've done that, you need to draw about five straight lines. Don't go right from the edges, go about a centimetre in. So use your ruler to measure that, about a centimetre in, straight line going landscape and you need to draw about four of these and this will be for you to write the address on. It would be much easier if you had um, a ruler that you could see through. So you can see if you're spreading your lines out equally. I'll just have to do mine like this. This is all I've got at home with me at the moment. So there you have it, about five lines going down and that's going to be for you to write your address on which should be on your um, text map. Again, if you haven't got your text map, you can just make another address up. Now this side here, this is where you're going to do, do your writing. So now, at this point, you could, with your ruler and pencil, draw lots and lots of lines on here where you're going to write your postcard because what I don't want to see is you doing your writing on plain paper here 
You're going to end up with writing that goes down here. We're going to end up with huge writing. We need to have lines. So the best thing that I can think of to do that is to grab a piece of paper from the notebooks that you've been writing your work down on, ripping one of those pieces of paper out and cutting it down so that it fits on the other side of your postcard, like so. If I push this up here, you can see what the postcard needs to look like. So you've got your stamp, your address, and you've got some lines. So all you need to do is put some glue on the back here and glue it down onto this side. It's going to save you drawing lots and lots of lines. And when you draw lots of lines, to be honest, it doesn't look very neat. Once that's glued down nice and flat, that's going to look far neater than you drawing lots of different lines. And then this is where you will copy up in best the draft of your postcard. So the draft of your postcard, you'll copy your stamp onto here, you'll write your made up address here. Remember there I've said made up, I don't want to see your address on here because they are going to go on Class Dojo. And remember we mustn't share our personal address online. So please make up an address here. You can make it funny if you want to. So I'd like you to do that bit first. So once you've drawn those, I would now like you to copy up your postcard in best here. I would then like you to do your made up address and then you can draw your picture for your stamp. Once you have done that, because we're doing it in the same order that we would do at school. So once you have done that, you can turn your postcard over and you can now design a nice front cover for it. I'd like the front cover to be of a picture of what you're describing in your postcard. So on mine, I described one of the walks that I did with Bobby. So I'd draw some woods, I'd draw me and I'd draw Bobby. I'd draw all the trees, I'd draw the stream that he went in, I might draw the treats. So the picture gives you a clue as to what you are going to read. I don't wanna see just a tiny picture in the middle. I don't wanna see stick people. I want to see that you have really taken your time like we would do at school. I want this whole piece of paper filled, not with scruffy, rushed colouring. Please take your time and make it as beautiful as possible. I want to post these on Class Dojo, so I'll only be posting them if I can see that you've really taken your time. Remember, the more time you take, the more remarkable your work is. So, have fun with that. This is a really fun piece of English work, and I really hope that you have fun completing it. Miss Carlis and I cannot wait to see them and we'll be awarding lots of dojos for those that have really tried their best. So enjoy.